everybody, it's Monique from Local Matters and I am the local food access coordinator and also the manager of the veggie van. And today I wanna to make a simple recipe with you with something that you would have in your kitchen, very uh, inexpensive to make. And today, instead of us making salmon croquettes, we're gonna actually make tuna croquettes. So a lot of times you'll have tuna in your cupboards and it could be out of the can, it doesn't matter. It could be in oil, it could be in water, that doesn't make a difference. So what we're gonna to make today is our, our tuna croquettes or tuna patties if you don't wanna be fancy. So I have here three packs of this kind of tuna, which would still be like three cans of tuna. All right, any, kind, any flavor tuna you wanna use is fine. Don't be focused on what flavor, what you don't have. We're gonna use what you have in your cupboard. Right now I'm getting, my skillet is getting hot. I got a little bit of olive oil going in there. You can see that I don't have it swimming in olive oil. I just got a nice little trace to cover my pan as it's getting hot. So I got it going, got it turned down a little bit. But what we're gonna add in our dish today, we're gonna add in, this is gonna be, for those three packets, it's gonna be a half of a medium onion. So I'm adding some onion. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of parsley. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of seasoning salt. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of garlic. If you like a little bit more garlic, go ahead and feel free. It has a lot of health properties. I'm gonna add in a pinch of black pepper. I'm adding in, two, I think I'm only going to do one egg. Let's see what one egg does for me. And then I'm gonna add in a half a cup. This is a cup. So I'm gonna add in a half a cup of flour. You wanna make sure that it's gonna be kind of, um, hold together, that's the main thing. Then we're just gonna mix all that together. Now, if I want this to be really crispy, some people like theirs to be crispy on the outside, I would add in um, a teaspoon of uh, cornstarch with a little bit of cornmeal, probably like a half a cup of cornmeal. I will add to this. So you can see it just kind of going to a nice little ball. I don't need it to be too wet because I gotta get it to hold together. If it's not holding together with that egg that you added, um, or use the canned tuna, just add a little bit more of your flour. Just like it's doing pretty good. You can see like it's kind of taking its own form. Now there's a couple different ways you can do your patties. Your patties, you could, after you make your patty, you could then toss it in your cornmeal or toss it in a, a little bit of flour, that's fine. Or because I added flour to it already, I don't think I'm gonna toss any more any more flour, any, uh, I'm not gonna roll it in flour. So, as you can see, that moisture has been absorbed. My onions were pre-cut, so they were a little bit moist as well. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and patty one up and see how it, it makes, how it uh, comes out. So, oh yeah, that's good. So depending on the size you wanna make, you just wanna kind of make them, flatten them. Some people make them in, in balls and that's fine. If you do them in balls, it's fine. Being that your tuna is already, is already ready, you really don't have to worry about uh, them cooking long. It's really just gonna sear them, sear them and flip them. Quick and easy. Smells good. Mm. <laughs> That's Chef Corey in the background, guys. She's videotaping it. So, when you make these, the nice things about these, about these is that you can make them up. And when you make them up, you can then, when you make them up, they can be frozen. You can cook, you can use them for the week. It's just, they're real easy. They store really nice. Look how pretty that is. Look how they held together just right. Even if you're gonna use a can of salmon, just remember to drain the juice off of the salmon. You don't wanna use that, use those. Look how pretty those are. How quick that is. This is a great protein you can have in the morning for breakfast 
going on a piece of toast, maybe a fried egg on top. You can see I don't have the, my grease popping very high. And like I said, I used a little olive oil. Probably about two tablespoons, really. If you want to make them bigger, you can make them larger and make them like you're making burgers. I make burgers out of these all the time. I may add a little feta and a little, uh, chop up some spinach to go into some fresh spinach and feta. They make delicious burgers. So this is very inexpensive to make because you can get tuna fish for about 89 cents a pack. So those are done and ready to come on out as the other ones are cooking. those around a little bit. And as you can see, this is a good uh, protein that you can have that will feed a family of four for under $3. So a lot of times you got an egg, tuna's going to run you anywhere from 59 cents to a dollar a pack. So this is something you can feed a family of four on for under $3. And you got all the health properties of it, of having tuna and having a good protein. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you all soon. I'm Corey Russell from Local Matters. I'm the executive chef. And today we're gonna do stir fry to go along with Monique's um, croquettes. I'm going to do a simple clean out the refrigerator stir fry uh, compound here. So I'm gonna start off I've got some carrots that were free, that were frozen. I've got some garlic that was frozen. I got a medley of peppers, celery, green onions, and broccoli. And then I'm gonna make a sauce with that. So first, I'm gonna start by cutting my carrots. I'm gonna do them on a bias. You can do them, like I tell people when they volunteer for me, do whatever is comfortable. If you want half moons, you do half moons. If you want dice, do dice. Today, I'm going to do like a bias. Cut them on an angle, give us a light, uh, a little half moon. I also, we have today, Monique also is working a camera for me. Um, we are combining our dishes so you can see what to use for a meal tonight. Uh, I have these carrots that are going a little bad. But when we cook them up, you're gonna see that they're they're not, they're gonna still have their crispness and their nice sweet flavor. These are baby carrots too, which are making a little difficult to cut, but if you got it in you, please cut them. You can also make them into soup. Watch this also, what we're making here, you can do it in, like Monique was doing hers, you could do it breakfast, lunch, dinner. You could take these vegetables saute them, cool them down, freeze them, and then the next time you have a dish that you might wanna put them in for a soup, you can just bring them out and put them in the bag. So that's my carrot. Now I'm gonna cut my celery. I'm just gonna do the celery into like a julienne to give myself a little different texture. layer and of course we're cooking with the rainbow so I, I like to have a lot of color in my vegetables so it just makes the food pop as I learned a long time ago being a chef presentation is everything so I'm gonna take my peppers and these are like little peppers you just pull that out just like that I'm gonna put them aside knock those seeds out do the other one, pull it off there, knock those seeds off. And I'm gonna just do these in like, almost like a cut, just a straight up cut across that. And 
this was a nice little bag that I got. It had um, these like purple, which I thought were really pretty. I'm just gonna cut that up too. So now we got some orange, we got some green, we got some purple, we got the white from our onions. And then last, I'm gonna do some green onions, but I'm gonna put that in later. And then we got some broccoli. This broccoli was a, getting a little rusty from the cutting of it. So I have my, my pan right here. I have some soy sauce, mixture of soy sauce, olive, I mean olive oil, and sesame. So I'm gonna start by putting all my veggies in it. And I'm gonna start with my onions. And the reason why I didn't start with my garlic, my onions first, because they're frozen. So that freezer process will cook down a little bit. So I kinda, I don't want them to cook up too fast. I kinda want them to cook easily with the other ones. I really like cooking stir fries, especially with my kids, cause they can help. And you can chop it any way. Um, it doesn't matter. It's all going to be eaten the same. So really easy. And especially because a lot of people are blending themselves on fresh food. I'm really trying to get all my fresh food as much as possible. Especially during the beginning of the week. I like to have a lot of my fresh food. And then by the end of the week, start working through my pan, my dry. That's just the way I do it. But you can do it anyway. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna layer some salt. Just a little bit because we are gonna use some more soy sauce. And I like, I like it when it starts to get bright. You'll see all the vegetables like brightening up and looking cool. I know some people don't like to say it, but I think food looks sexy, so I like it when it's bright like that. So I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. And while that's going, I like spicy. So you can do um, the chili spice. Don't throw a little bit there. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of ginger because I don't have any fresh ginger. But if you have fresh ginger at home, please. It does bring out a better flavor. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna finish it with some low sodium soy sauce. Give it a couple of shakes. Right, that looks that looks like amazing. If the camera wasn't on me, I'd probably be putting my fingers in it and eating it as I go. I really like the taste of fresh vegetables. And I don't I don't like my vegetables too um, mushy. I don't know if that's really the term to use, but I don't I don't like them too soft. I like them with a crisp and a bite. What we're going to do is we have Monique's croquettes here. As we come down, you see the sauce. Got that flavor, that aroma coming through. Put it right there. Right there. And then. I don't know what you think, Monique, but that presentation. I think it looks delicious. You've got you a nice, well-balanced meal. You've got your green. You got your eating with the rainbow. You got your protein. There. There we go. Show all those pretty colors. The carrots. The broccoli. I think it looks amazing. And that's our dish. Chef Corey and Monique, veggie van. Bon appetit, people.